Hi YouTube! Hello to everyone who left an introduction on my last video. Nice to meet all of you. So, where are we with the fundraiser? $1,436. That's like 1,436 cans of green beans! 1,436 packages of peeps! Or 41 point something copies of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. These are from last Halloween. $1,436 is so much money and just really wonderful. Thank you to everyone who has donated so far. We still have lots of time. Remember that the new goal is $2,000, so everyone keep it up, and we'll get there soon. Last week a few of you asked me some questions, and then things got kind of crazy, so I'm finally getting around to answering them now. Sam asks, when will I see you? Well, Sam, I'm not the one that decided to go to grad school in Chicago instead of going where your friends and your brother were going. In all seriousness, I have no idea. I'm probably not going to get up to the mountains of North Carolina any time this year, so... Sam also asks, what is the best combination of pizza toppings? When it comes to pizza toppings, I'm kind of a one to two ingredient person, uh, so I kind of like any combination of the following. Basil, mushrooms, sun-dried tomatoes, and bacon. Definitely bacon. Adam asks, do you have your Night Beat tickets yet? Yes, and I have no idea where they are. They were bought through my high school because we're sort of going with my brother. Um, but if you get a ticket, let me know, and hopefully I will see you there. Invader Zim Girl 14 asks, do you like Doctor Who? I really want to say yes, but the problem is I've never actually watched an episode of Doctor Who. A friend of mine and a Doctor Who fan actually drew up a list of episodes that I need to watch in order to sort of get into it, but I haven't gotten around to that yet, so when I do, I will let you know. I think the answer is going to be yes, because I generally like things like that, and I'm also a big fan of Chameleon Circuit. Is it hypocritical to be a fan of a band that sings songs about Doctor Who when you don't actually watch the TV show? Bagboy42 asks, can you play violin like Marie Nesbitt of Celtic Woman? Well, Gary, I've never actually listened to Celtic Woman until you mentioned this, and from what I understand, they are sort of an Irish contemporary fusion band thing, um, and I sort of saw it as like a combination of Riverdance and Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I have to say that watching some of the videos of her on YouTube were pretty impressive to watch, that she was running around and playing fiddle and also dancing. I think it should be noted that Celtic Woman is definitely a stage production with lights and dancing and sound systems and, you know, a show. The Irish music that I play tends to be a bit more on the traditional side. After a lot of rambling, I guess the answer to your question is no. Not exactly. Hopefully sometime soon I'll get some video of us playing and then you can hear what it is that we actually do. Tristan, who is downstairs playing video games right now, asked, what is the average flying velocity of a swallow? Well, Tristan, I really must answer your question with a few more questions. Is a swallow unladen or is it carrying a coconut? Can a favine bird really carry a coconut? Does a swallow beat its wings at 43 times per second? Is it an African or European swallow? Why do you want to know all this about swallows anyway? Are you a king? And finally, David asks, what is the meaning of life? 42. Remember to donate and share links below. I'm going to try and keep y'all updated at least once a week uh, with how much money we've raised and all of that good stuff. So stay tuned. I wish we had a swallow so you could tie a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> What's the average flying velocity of a swallow? African or European. I don't know that.